Hey guys, I'm Nick. In this video, I'm going to show you a short clip of how we've been fishing the mini stick bait. It's short, it's fast, it's very, very easy. The trout love it. I'm also going to show you some new colors that we just put up on the website. And I'm going to give you a, bit, you know, a few tips and talk to you about some hooks and stuff. Uh, one of the first things about the clip is I was actually about an hour and a half east of here. I was fishing with a client a few weeks back. We were on a great trout bite. We had made some color changes throughout the trip. We actually made an ultraviolet color for uh, James Cruz, lives on the road from me. And we, uh, he wanted to try ultraviolet out in the stick bait, so we did it. Uh, obviously this color produces very, very well. We made it in the stick bait and we had great results, but we were fishing an area, it was kind of cloudy. The sun had came out. We were throwing <clears throat> the ghost shrimp color. We were catching trout. But I felt like we should have been doing better. Uh, the ghost shrimp is a great color. But we weren't in an area that had a lot of ghost shrimp. We were kind of in the river system. And I was like, you know what? Let's throw some different colors and see. I had a few extra UVs on. We started fishing the UV color. We started catching better trout every other cast or so. It was a great choice. It produced a lot of quality fish. In that clip, we'll show it right here. It's simple. Twitch, twitch, pause. Twitch, twitch, pause. All right, watch the rod tip. Now you can see it wasn't a big hook set and you don't have to. The hooks are very, very sharp. The trout's gonna shake its head. Uh, the hook stays where it's supposed to stay. I toss it in the kayak real quick. It's a quality fish. You get it back in the water quickly. We fished the UV stick bait for a while after that. We caught several quality fish. Now that brings me back to colors, okay? The ghost shrimp was the first real color we started using. It produced a ton of fish. I love it for sight fishing redfish. It performs really, really well in the Santa Rosa Sound and surrounding areas. But the UV is a great all around color. The other color that we've used a lot is green. Now I post these on Facebook, people call them green beans and asparagus and all kinds of funny things. But the green has absolutely killed it. It has killed trout and redfish. It's actually one of my favorite colors now. I'll tell you that they're on the website and they're marked down to $4.99 instead of the normal $5.99. And the reason why is they're actually remelts. What I've been doing is we make a ton of swim baits in the whitish color and then make a ton of swim baits in a few other colors. I've been taking the whitish leftovers. I've been adding some green to them, adding various types of black and silver, mixing them up. And none of the different shades have made a single difference on the amount of fish that have been caught. So what I've done is I have a bunch of extras just that are random colors that will be in these packets. Now they're all going to be the same shade, okay? But they're slightly different than some of the other ones. And they'll be on there as a green. And it'll vary a little bit. So if you order two packs, you might get a, a little darker version and a little lighter version. You know, you can see the difference here. It's not much. They're always going to be real, real close, but the fish can't tell. Oh, the fish don't really care either, okay? Um, you know, one thing about fishing the stick bait or the Ned Rig or whatever you prefer to call it is you get to use a lot less weight. So I definitely recommend these five 30-second jig heads. I just dropped it on the floor. Is that good? I legitimately just dropped it. You guys see that? That's hilarious. I recommend the five 30-second jig heads. The reason I recommend it is there's no paddle tail, okay? So when this lure is cast, there's no resistance in the air. It casts great with the lighter jig head. It also falls to the water column very, very quick. The lighter jig is gonna stop you from spooking fish once that lure hits the water. And it makes a huge difference, especially when you're sight casting a fish. If you're gonna use a heavy jig, you're gonna spook a ton of fish. So the website is updated to have these two new colors. You can see in that video, it's short, it's quick. Uh, filmed a bunch more, but the same thing, okay? And this video would just get really, really long for no reason. Twitch, twitch, pause. Now, depending on how deep the water is, let that lure get down to the bottom. Twitch, twitch, pause. Twitch, twitch, pause. Keep that rod tip kind of low. If you get it too high, you're not going to be able to set the hook. Another thing to consider is, this happens a lot of times, guys like wind up to the hook set. Twitch, twitch, pause. If you notice, I lift up and that fish is instantly hooked. So I just pick up some more. A super sharp hook is gonna do its job and it's over. Then you just keep steady pressure on and catch the fish. Now, if you're going twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause, and then you feel a bite and you come down and come back up, you miss instantly. That hook will fall out of the fish's mouth. As soon as you feel the pressure, just pull the rod back a little bit and you'll catch that fish. 
I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. If you want to buy some, there's a link in the description. We appreciate it. All your purchases go to help make more of these videos. Thanks for watching.